of you can turn your favorite celebrity or speaker or some a book or something a youtube video or a podcast into a bot into an ai bot that can answer any question within the realms of content that you have given fed into it and that is exactly what we are going to see in this video we are going to build a bot called naval bot so naval ravikant is a very famous personality on internet we are going to build a bot called naval bot and we are going to use a very simple solution called ember chain i mean ember chain does the heavy lifting for us ember chain is a framework that helps you create llm bots over any data set and it's not just like data set we are not talking about only csv or excel or um, you know text file it can do or it can handle a lot of formats underneath ember chain uses open ai embeddings and also lang chain hence the name ember chain so in this video i'm going to get in the details of how you can build your own naval bot using ember chain all the code that i'm going to share is uh, shared by ember chain team and ember chain is an application built by taranjit singh so give a follow to taranjit singh on twitter and then you know share your appreciation for this wonderful framework that helps you build any bot llm bot simply using couple of lines of python code like i said underneath it uses lang chain embeddings and uh, to querying it uses chat gpt api and as a vector database it uses chroma so the tech stack is very simple lang chain for uh, doing all the heavy lifting of loading any type of data um getting data from youtube and all these kind of things open ai add a embedding for building an embedding model open ai chat gpt api for querying the data and getting the answer and chroma for the vector database to store the embedding in itself so let's get started with the google collab notebook you don't have to take any notes this google collab notebook will be shared in the youtube description all you have to do is run this um and i'll tell you the exact steps where you need to make any change for whatever you need to do so ember chain is uh, something that first we need to install this is not running on gpu this is in fact like running on cpu because you know it's it's using open ai embedding you don't need a gpu to run this the first thing that we are going to do is install ember chain once you install ember chain which is going to take a lot of time um, in this case 1 minute because it has a lot of dependencies once ember chain is completely installed the next thing that you need to do is you need to set up your open ai api key please never share your api key with anybody right now i'm sharing this once this video is finished i'm going to go ahead and then remove the api key i'm going to remove the revoke the api key i can all like just delete the api key here so nobody can use the api key if you want to get your api key first go to your open ai api account and then click api keys and then create a new secret key and then give a name like ember chain and then copy the key if you do not copy the key the key will perish it will not exist so you have to always revoke and then recreate so make sure you copy the key another important thing is this is going to use open ai embeddings and also the chat gpt api which means make sure you have got enough open ai credits within your account so that's something that you need to pay attention to a lot of people message me or uh, you know comment or email me saying that you know i followed this tutorial but i got an error saying rate limit if you got an error saying rate limit either you are making multiple requests within the same 1 minute limit or your account doesn't have money you ran out of credit even if it is completely new account just make sure that you have credit first of all having said that after you copy the open ai api key import os os.envron and open ai underscore api underscore key so this is an environment variable that you need to set if you are doing this right now i'm showing this on google collab if you are doing this on mac this exact code will completely work if you are doing this on linux this exact code will work if you are doing this on windows also most likely this code will work but i don't have a windows machine to check on windows you can also check how to add environment variables all you have to do is check simply how to add envo 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 what am i even spelling mental mint variables okay mental variables okay so you just figure out how to set up an environment variable the key of your environment variable is this and the value for the environment variable is this so either way you can easily set this up if you have any difficulties please let me know in the comment section but should be very straightforward depending upon where you run this again i'm mentioning this because a lot of people have been telling me why not use like a local uh, instance i'm just sharing it on google collab because it's easier for me to share it with everybody like my audience but if you want to run this on local machine all you have to do is go here click file and uh, save download the file as .py and it should ideally work within your vs and vs code or any environment so that should work fine after you have set up the open ai api key now the basic setup is done all you have to do is you have to load the library from ember chain import app it is completely possible that your 
code or uh, your computer or your Python instance, like the code that you're coding right now might already have a class named app. So in that case, you can instan instantiate or you can load it with an alias. But if you do not have an issue, completely fine from Ember Chain import app. Once you're done with that from Ember Chain import app, the next thing is you need to instantiate your bot app. Just give a meaningful name for the bot app using the app. So give like in, in my case, I want to build an app uh, based on like Naval Ravikant's details. So I'm calling it Naval bot. So Naval bot is equal to app of I mean, the create an object. Now is the main part. So what have we done until now? We installed the library. Then after we installed the library, we loaded the, uh, before we loaded the library, we set up our open AI environment key and then we loaded the library. Then we instantiated a bot. Now is where we are going to build layers on top of the bot. So we are going to feed data inside the bot so that the bot can learn. And what all the kind of data that you can feed is an example. This code will actually tell you. You can embed a YouTube video. You can embed a PDF file. You can embed a web page also. And you can embed even a local question, which we'll see in the next section. So we're going to say navalbot.add YouTube video. This is the, this is the interview of uh, Naval Ravikant, uh, who appeared on Joe Rogan podcast, like four years ago, before Joe Rogan went only Spotify exclusive. The podcast used to be there. It's a two hours, 11 minutes content. And, uh, in fact, once we build the bot, one of the questions that we are going to ask is from the conversation, this just to make sure if the bot is quite clever in understanding the question. So this is one video. The second one is, uh, the very famous book by Naval Ravikant, which is, uh, the not by Naval Ravikant, to be honest, like it's uh, Eric Ursens, the Almanac of Naval Ravikant book, and uh, that is going to be fed into this. It's a PDF file. Then we have got a web page. Then we have got another web page. So at this point, we have put in three different media type, a YouTube video, a PDF file, a web page, and a web page. So if you go to the documentation of Ember Chain, you can actually see the type of media that you can feed in the formats. One, you can feed in a YouTube video. Two, you can feed in a PDF file. Three, you can feed in a web page. Four, you can feed in your own question and answer pair. Like if you talk about, you know, fine tuning um, instructions. So this is like your question and answer pair. This is like your instruction and answer pair. So these are the four formats that are currently supported now, but more formats are coming and you can always raise an issue here if you want more format. Now, after this is done, at the end of each step, it also gives you the total token count, 473 token here, 468 token, 474, 478, like the cumulative token that has gone into this particular bot here. So you also know what is the depth and breadth of the knowledge that the bot has got, because of course, more information you feed in, more things that the bot would know. This is all online resources. Now we are going to see how to add a local resource. This is like something from you. It could be like your like hard coded text like this, or it could be like you have got a local CSV or a JSON, which you have read and then fed it into it. Like you, it could be both the ways. Either it could be a simple hard coded text, a question and answer pair, Q and A pair, or it could be loaded as a Q and A pair from let's say JSON, XML, or um, in fact, like a CSV file. So now we are going to add this. Who is Naval Ravikant? Naval Ravikant is an Indian American entrepreneur and investor. At this point, we have added four different types of content into our bot and all these are converted into open AI embeddings. That's the main thing. Now our bot is ready because our bot is always ready. All you have to do is question our bot. So the moment you add it, the embeddings get added. Now, the moment you start questioning it, it is going to use the chat GPT API to question, to make a question and then get the answer from the embedding and give it to you. So one of the things like I've at least like seen on internet, every time people talk about Naval Ravikant is, um, ways to become rich. So I asked the question, what are the ways to become rich? And it said, there are several ways to become rich, including investing in stocks and real estate, starting your own successful business, saving and budgeting effectively. And, um, it, uh, goes on and gives the detail. Now I have no easy way for me to verify if this information is actually part of the embeddings that we have created. So what I can do is I can go here and ask a question that has been in the conversation. Here, I don't know if you can hear this. I, I'm going to play this. It's about a question about wealth, fame. Someone will approach me in public and I'm a little resentful. And there mm -hmm. are other times I'm just like, actually, I'm really grateful that, you know, I worked for this. I got this. Right. This is the payoff. Just embrace it. Smile, grin and bear it. Meet but you have here. a different sort of celebrity. 
so this is a question about fame and wealth and this kind of stuff and that is the answer that you got like sometimes nawal is resentful but sometimes nawal is grateful so what i did is i wanted to go ask the same question to see if the bot can actually get me that answer so it's it's like cheating here but i i just wanted to validate if it actually works or it hallucinates so i went ahead and asked what do you think about fame and wealth and this is the answer it gives based on the given context the speaker seems to have mixed feelings about fame and wealth they mentioned being resentful at times when approached in public but also express gratitude for their success they also mentioned wanting to be wealthy happy healthy which suggests a desire for both fame and wealth overall it is unclear what what their exact thoughts and the feelings are about fame and wealth cool i mean it it helps me understand i would like to like do a live demo of asking one more question and in this case we can ask as simple as like who is nawal ravikant which uh, i think we already know what the answer is here like uh, nawal ravikant is um, the the indian american entrepreneur but what i want to ask is like i want to ask like a five point summary of this book that's what i want to ask five point summary of the almanac let me let me give space here so that the code is not confused okay this is what i want to ask the five point summary of the almanac of nawal ravikant and let's see if it can actually give us a five point summary okay it says i don't have access cool um maybe directly because i asked about this content that's that's important to know so let's go to the page nawal agi and then pick a question from there nawal agi so nawal agi more compute power does not produce agi so this is uh, this is some opinion about nawal and what does nawal think about agi let's say let's just simply ask that question what what does what does nawal think about agi okay let's see if it can answer i don't know it 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 simply said i don't know okay what produces agi what produces agi the good thing is it actually says i don't know the piece of context does not provide a direct answer to the query cool it says it does not provide a direct access cool that's fine let's now go back to a different material and pick one other things and uh, it what's a better alternative to ubi okay that's a question that's a topic that has been discussed here i want to go ahead and then ask the question what a better alternative what is what is a better alternative to ubi and uh, let's wait for the the speaker suggests that there is a better alternative to ubi is to establish a set of basic substance services such as housing food transportation internet access blah 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 but go ahead and then go to that particular section the route is that we actually establish a set of basic substance services that you have to have and we provide those in abundance to technology based automation so get basic housing get basic food get basic transportation get high high speed internet access get a phone in your pocket those are that's amazing that's quite amazing and we saw the couple of cases where it did not work well and we also saw a couple of cases where it did really well so like if i'm like you uh, i i think it's a no brainer for us to digest or create an embed chain bot of uh, youtube videos or longer podcast like lex friedman podcast is like really long sometimes you just want to ask question and get an answer rather than um, always trying to remember the entire podcast i i still love you know going through the entire podcast like i mean yeah i summaries are always there but i love the i personally love the experience of listening to the podcast sometimes seeing the podcast and watching what people are saying whether they're laughing at this particular situation whether their face is serious i mean there are a lot of nuances like i personally like but if you just want an update or if you want to ask questions if you want to consume knowledge i think this is an amazing amazing way to build bot about any celebrity or personality or any kind of content like imagine you have got like a um, a document from berkshire hathaway or uh, from an agm meeting you can just feed it into this system which is like it's a free application on I me mean, all you need is like open ai credits you don't have to pay anything to embed chain and you can get it done i think it's a, it's completely um, a brilliant solution um, where the heavy lifting is done under the hood and you get to play around with the solution with complete ease and if you use this tutorial i think you are just like immediately getting started without anything at all a uh, few people have raised data related question in the past to to give you uh, right information in this case the data actually goes to open ai server and it comes back to you so if you are concerned about data privacy you shouldn't probably use this thing uh, as with any other solution we strongly expect if there will be a 
like if if we will have an embed chain that uses an open source model but for that we have to wait and see what taranjit and the team will uh, try to include but overall this is an this is a wonderful effort and uh, as you can see the developer is uh, very actively developing the last commit is like yesterday uh, and um, they have got a discord community if you want to join but at this point this is this is a no brainer for anybody in the ai ml space uh, to use this and build their own large language applications given you have got a youtube video or a pdf file or a web page or a text question and answer pair for for you to question the bot i hope this video was helpful to you in building a large language model or llm application ai application using embed chain with just a bunch of five, like five or six lines of python code let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it if you have any question um let me know in the comments otherwise see you in another video happy prompting